Howdy guys, this is the Josh Reese Show, and I am here today live at Minute Maid Park, and I am yelling because people are working on the field and it's loud outside, so hopefully y'all guys can hear me throughout the all the buzzing and all that other stuff. But anyways, this is the Josh Reese Show, and today we are going to be talking about the Astros upcoming series with the New York Yankees. But before we get into that, let me thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Also, please follow and visit my friends over at Countryside Massage here in Conroe, Texas. The link is below please click and follow it's pretty easy to do on Facebook I mean come on guys it's, it's not that damn hard but I would appreciate it if you did that they're supporters of mine I am supporters of theirs do it do it now but let's talk about it the Astros are kicking some serious ass they are earning it earn it they are doing just that they are now the most winningest team in all of baseball, which actually could change in a couple of hours depending on how the Orioles do later on tonight. But as of today, as of this moment, as of when you watch this video, the Houston Astros will have the most wins in Major League Baseball with 23 wins after beating the Braves today 4-2. to two. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, swing low, sweet chariot, coming to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. I don't know the rest of that song. But anyways, guys, in all seriousness, uh, the Houston Astros, while they may not really, they, I won't say they won't, they won't talk about it because they did talk about it, but they won't really acknowledge. That this upcoming road trip against the New York Yankees, while it is not a test, it is a it is a little bit of a test. A four-game series on the road against equally tough competition. I mean, it's it's not the World Series like AJ Hinch mentioned, but I mean, it is a good test, a good uh, bar to see if you are one of those good elite teams in the major leagues. Now, even if the Astros get swept, they're still going to be one of the better teams in baseball. But if you go out and sweep the Yankees or take three games in Yankee Stadium, people are going to be looking at the Houston Astros in a whole different light. Like it or not, A.J. Hinch and Houston Astros players, this is a little bit of a test for you, for them, this week against the Yankees. Uh, so against the Yankees, the Astros will be throwing Dallas Keuchel, Lance McCullers, Mike Fires. Charlie Morton. Uh, yeah. So, the way I kind of look at it is that the Yankees are, like the Astros, they're hitting the bejesus side of the baseball. And I feel like the, the one game that they have to, they need to win, is the first game with Dallas Keuchel. That really will set the tone for the rest of the series. And oddly enough, he has a really good record against the Yankees. Um, I believe in five, six starts, he has like a 1 6 ERA. Fantastic. Problem is, this isn't, you know, your grandpa's Yankees uh, or even your, your, your brother's Yankees. This is a brand new Yankees team. All Most of the old players that have been on the Yankees have been shipped off to other teams, i.e., the Houston Astros have. Carlos Beltran and Brian McCann. Now they have a, a little bit more of a younger infusion of talent. Aaron Judge is really coming onto the scene, destroying the cover off the baseball for the Yankees. He's uh, batting 317. I think he has 16 home runs at a 1.7. A one? Oh, no, nope. Let's start that over again. A 1.173 OPS. Bam! That's pretty amazing, and that's going to be a uh, very hard to. Uh, to combat 
this week. So hopefully the Astros kind of pitch him um, very smartly. Uh, also, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, also the New York Yankees have Aaron Hicks, former, formerly of the Minnesota Twins. They also have Matt Holliday, formerly of the Cubs. Sterling Cat, uh, Ster uh, formerly of the Cardinals. Sterling Castro, formerly of the Cubs. They've got a whole cast of new characters, and uh, this Yankees team is going to be a whole different Magilla than they've been used to facing over the past couple of years. Um, so this will be a nice little test for the Astros um, upcoming. And the problem is, is not Dallas Keuchel, and the problem is not so much Lance McCullers. You expect McCullers to have a pretty good game, um, although road Lance is very different from home Lance, but you still trust McCullers to, uh, to pitch very well. The problem in the series will come when Mike Fires is pitching. It will come when Charlie Morton is pitching. Um, we've all seen Mike Fires this year really, really struggle with the home run ball. And with the mashers that the New York Yankees have, I imagine he will continue to struggle at Yankee Stadium. Um, so uh, A.J. Hinch is going to have to have a very quick trigger on Mike Fires, And if he sees that it even could be getting close to getting out of hand, even if he has a, a whiff of getting out of handness, um, hopefully he will have a quick yank and Chris Davinsky or, um, I was going to say Brad Peacock, but that might not be a very good option either. Uh, or um, uh, uh, Hoyt will come in or or Michael Feliz, or any other host of options will come in and try to uh, bridge, hopefully, a good start uh, from the offense and a Mike Fire start to the, to the rest of the bullpen. Um, and also, Charlie Morton has been a little bit hit or miss this season. He's had some really, really good games. He's had some crap games. Um, but hopefully, you're going to get the Charlie Morton that is on it and has that a uh, big strikeout game and is able to really mow batters down. We've all seen it. He can do it. Hopefully he can do it consistently against the Yankees. So the Astros have themselves quite a little test with the Yankees ahead of them. I know uh, Brian McCann, Carlos Beltran will probably really enjoy uh, going back to Yankee Stadium and I imagine that they're going to want to hit the bejesus out of the baseball in front of their former manager and all their former uh, friends up there. So uh, hopefully this will be a very pleasant trip for the Astros. Hopefully this will be a very winning trip for the Houston Astros and hopefully when they uh, come back home to Houston after their trip from uh, um, the uh, Yankees and the Marlins, hopefully they come home and they are the talk of baseball and the talk of winning Astros baseball. I believe in CBS, uh, CBS CBS's power rankings they rated the Houston Astros as the second best team in the major leagues, only behind the New York Yankees. So destroy the Yankees, become number one. Guys, that's pretty much all I got in this video. Feel free to leave below your thoughts on how this series is going to go. Do you think the Astros are going to sweep? I myself think they might come away with a split 2-2, two and two, and I think that will be a very good win-win for the Houston Astros. So feel free to leave it. Guys, I'm going to bounce on out of here. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free um, to leave a comment like I suggested. And also, please follow my friends over at Countryside Massage in Conroe, Texas. I'm going to bounce on out of here, and I will see you guys for the Cleveland series. So stay tuned.